USA. When Americans stepped on the moon in 1969, it was one small step for man. Today, women are more involved as leaders in returning the U.S. to the moon. This delegate is representing NASA's Johnson Space Center in her hometown of Houston. Pretty soon, she'll be on the moon, USA. designer Ebony attributes her positive outlooks towards upbringing immersed in art, sports, and travel. This 28-year-old enjoys strip shopping, playing the ukulele, and fire dancing in her spare time. USA! Our 15th semi-finalist is... USA! USA! A fashion designer with a background in textiles, USA dyed this cape herself. It was inspired by a rising phoenix and her father's advice to act on goals, dreams, and desires today. In his words, if not now, when? USA! USA! teaches sewing at a nonprofit design house that offers a safe environment for victims of human trafficking and domestic violence. And look at this gown. It took a team of people to hand beat this gown with more than 8,000 stones and crystals. All right, Olivia, the competition is about to get real fierce, fierce because the next delegate is... You! I want everyone to know that we are all born with a special gift, unique talent, and a purpose, but it's up to you to unlock it. USA, you're next. Thank you so much. Your question is coming from number two, Mara Martin. Mara, tell us your question. First of all, you guys all look absolutely stunning. <laughs> Miss Universe recently made an inclusive change, allowing mothers and married women to compete this year. What's another change you'd like to see and why? For me, I would like to see an age increase because <laughs> I am 28 years old and that is the oldest age to compete. And I think it's a beautiful thing. My favorite quote is, if not now, then when? Because as a woman, I believe age does not define us. It's not tomorrow, it's not yesterday, but it's now, the time is now that you can go after what you want. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's hear it for the second name to make the cut. USA! Ready? All right. Here is your question. If you win Miss Universe, how would you work to demonstrate this as an empowering and progressive organization? Well, I would use it to be a transformational leader. As a very passionate designer, been sewing for 13 years, I use fashion as a force for good. In my industry, I'm cutting down on pollution through recycled materials when I make my clothing. I teach sewing classes to women that have survived from human trafficking and domestic violence. And I say that because it is so important to invest in others, invest in our community, and use your unique talent to make a difference. We all have something special, and when we plant those seeds to other people in our life, we transform them and we use that as a vehicle for change. Thank you. 
Everyone from me to say, oh, 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 o